Right guys, so I've got my Insta360, which we can turn on, should come to life, he says, there we go. So, you should let's see there on the screen that you can see what we're seeing. The side panel here, where is it, there, if it wants to focus it would be very helpful, there we go. Little side panel there, you can literally pop, open it and then pop it off. Put that in my pocket for the moment and then today i got the microphone adapter which just literally slots in which you then heard a beep which is cool uh, this cable is the one i've got in the bag with the sony wireless microphones um but i've ordered a much shorter one it's about how much longer and I was just going to Velcro, stick, uh, put some double-sided Velcro on the back of the camera and they can just Velcro the actual microphone unit to the um, back of it. So I think that'll work quite nicely. But I thought I'd try it out. So I've also worked out that after recording this earlier already, if my phone would record properly and focus properly, you've got the adapter that normally sits on my camera with the multi hot shoe you've got analog and digital recording. This does not do digital, it is analog. So everything I did earlier didn't record, but then I realized on the screen, there is actually a, a graphic equalizer thingy on the screen. They're not this the right time of day to do this, but you can see a little green flashy line along the top there. So when I plug the microphone in, in a second, it will, in theory, start recording sound. Uh, let's plug her in. So, in theory, yeah, here we go. So in theory, if we get onto this, you can now see the bar moving when I speak. In theory, there we go. So in theory, we'll get onto this. You can now see the bar moving when I speak. So hopefully, oh god, it's really bright. There's a wrong time of day to do this. Um, but I just want to see what the range is like. And if it works quite well, um, <coughs> and all that really, and the cough is still here. So obviously we should, we should have even sound all the way through, even if I walk over here and out the way, you should still be able to hear me. Which is cool. Um, as long as the Bluetooth connection between the microphones and the receiver keep picking them up. So it'd be interesting to see how far actually I'm going to wander off but it also means I can now stick this microphone uh, down by an exhaust or something like that on a car whilst you've got the camera uh, on top of the car so you know the engines you can put it under the engine or the induction noise or whatever you want and record the sounds of the robin uh, the sounds and everything as you do it so in theory it's all good so yeah that's the plan anyway so yeah i mean it's a 20 pound option uh, which i ordered uh, and it arrived this morning so i just thought i'd have a little play especially when it's windy and i've been out so many times and i i'm, I'm very aware that sometimes the audio audio on some of my videos especially when i've been out in the countryside or down the seafront that the sound is terrible so i thought do you know what for this for 20 quid it's a much better option than the gopro version was um, and you can literally have wireless mics. So yeah, I've got a shorter cable coming, which I think comes later in the week sometime. Which and some double-sided Velcro, which I can literally put on the top of on the top of there, and then stick it to the back of the Insta 360 uh, for when it's uh, doing that. Because a lot of the time you're not going to see it anyway because it's out of shot. 
Obviously, I know you've got the 360 degree view, but you, depending on what you're doing, you don't necessarily need it. Uh, I'm more interested at the moment of seeing me like this, and then possibly a view out the other side, a little bit high anyway. So, and it will be totally, you know, not in shot of the used video anyway. So, no real drama. But I thought for 20 quid, a really good um, thing. Uh, going on to, which I can find, there it is, in my pocket, is one thing I hate about the Insta360. And it's this rubber cowl. Yeah, it's a great idea, and it protects the lenses from bashing about and when you're not using it. Great, use it all the time. Great. But it attracts so much dirt and dust and hairs and everything else. When, to, when you, even if you do that and put it over, it always ends up with stuff inside it. It, in, if it's been in your pocket uh, so I think if they could if they need to redesign this and actually do maybe a felt felt lined one or something not really sure how they would do it but yeah it, it's the worst bit about the whole system is that I just thought I'd say everything else I really like and the way it works the way the software works on the computer I haven't used the app at all actually on my phone but because I'm using the desktop uh, app on the uh, on my laptop it's that works very very well and to be honest i work better on a large screen generally anyway so yeah um anyway i'm gonna snap some pictures and wait for the um, swallows to appear a bit more um this cough is hopefully going to bugger off soon so it's, it's not as bad but it's i'm still blocked up and everything so yeah it's a little bit annoying at night time when you lay down uh but uh what's the microphones at? i think they're at minus 10. minus 10. Let's try minus 20 and see how much difference that is. If that's a clearer sound or is it too quiet? I don't know. We'll have a listen later and actually see. And I reckon zero is going to be overpowered and too annoying and probably doesn't sound great. Minus 10, which is fine. You can do the level adjustment in the Insta360 as well. So I could change that down by minus 10 and leave it. Um, so we know next time and it'll just be perfect even at night zero um, But you have got adjustment on this microphone anyway, which is fantastic. I love this thing uh, Very very good uh, Anyway, I'm gonna carry on snapping. I hope you have a lovely evening tonight is very nice It's just a bit hazy at the moment and I'm looking into the Sun, which is not ideal uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get out using this camera a lot more and Hopefully um, get some really cool stuff with it, especially when I start messing around with it a bit more and doing some more unique things with it rather than just walks and showing you guys. But yeah, you know, with the cameras and uh, things like that. So um, anyway, catch you later.